On the last day of school before winter break. Where are they in the North Pole and who's there? <laughs> There's really no better way to send off the kiddos. Let me hear you ring your bells. Like what I'm saying. <laughs> then with a great story, the Polar Express. Or should I read one more page? I knew that I could have any gift I could imagine. For nine-year-old Anna Del Oyo. How do you know it's the sound of bells? What's the evidence? Magical. It sounds magical. She already has the best gift she could ever imagine. She calls it her special hand. And though she's short on words, she knows just how to say what her hand means to her. Like nobody else has it. She'll admit she's a pretty resilient girl. Still, the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. She's always wondered I like <laughs> what it would be like to hold something with that hand. That is, until she met her new friend, Clay Guillory. That's the man who did my hair, my hair, my yeah. hand. <laughs> Clay found out about Anna, and with help from other engineers and a nonprofit called Enabling the Future, he surprised Anna with that gift that wasn't inside Santa's giant bag. He made me a prosthetic. You attend a big smile on this little girl's face who tonight yeah, got a new prosthetic breath. hand, thanks to a local man with a 3D printer who made this just for her. Here's Anna trying on the hand. Pink is her favorite color, of course. And for the first time ever, this nine-year-old can pick up things and she's excited to write. She told us it feels like a real hand. What do you think of it? What, what's so cool about it? I can move my hands. The hand still needs a little fine tuning, but when it's ready, Anna knows exactly what she'll do first. They cried a thank you letter. A special gift for humble Anna. It doesn't matter how you are, just find what you need to find. I feel so happy that you got your new hand. Thank you. For DPS Features, I'm Ben McKee.